Have fans already broken James Gunn? We got an interesting tweet from the head of DC Studios talking about how he's debunking these rumors and a change of policy that's headed our way. So let's break down what he had to say. Well, ever since that first part of the DCU slate was announced, rumors related to all these projects have run rampant online. But we have had a hero in the form of James Gunn, who has quite often reached out and absolutely smashed these. Now, there have been some reliable scoopers, but this has been a great gift to fans because there are so many so-called scoopers who really are grifters who basically pander and misinformation play their fans and post blatant lies for attention. James Gunn has been embarrassing these people for weeks, but sadly, it sounds like he's close to having enough or the level of nonsense is so high he just doesn't have the time. Now, recently, he dropped to Twitter and gave us a bit of an announcement of what he's going to be doing moving forward and, more importantly, why? So let's break that down. In his tweet he said, I'm getting barraged with bullshit DC rumors this morning. I'll just reiterate the general rule not to believe anything unless it comes from me or Peter. But unless it's especially egregious, I'm going to slow down on calling shit out. Sorry, I know, it's one of my favorite traditions. There are three reasons for this. One, some people are making up lies to get attention from me or to get clicks, and I don't want to encourage that. Number two, I've read a hundred rumors this morning. One of them is half true, so I don't want to be used as a way for people to throw nonsense against the wall until something sticks. And three, I'm storyboarding Superman Legacy and don't have time. Have a great day. Well, first and foremost, it's pretty great news that he's storyboarding Superman Legacy. It does show that's moving forward exactly as it should be. But the other two statements do make a lot of sense. First and foremost, a lot of these grifters pretty much peddle in false attention. And I do think he's probably right that people were posting nonsense that was so far out in the left field, specifically meant to garner attention from Gunn. And like we all know, any attention, even if it's bad, is better than none. And that's exactly what a lot of these sly grifters do all the time. And it's pretty despicable and it was nice to have James calling them out. Now, when he mentions not wanting to be used as a way for people to throw nonsense against the wall until something sticks, this also makes a lot of sense. You know, it's become a general rule in the last couple of weeks where we've looked at what James Gunn has responded to to try to determine what's true and what's not true. In other words, grifters can make up almost anything they want, and basically by process of elimination or what Gunn doesn't debunk, they can then speculate a little better about what is or isn't going on. In other words, if they suggest a rumor that turns out to be true, there's a high likelihood Gunn won't debunk it. Therefore, in the eyes of many fans, this story is true, and it allows them to run with that and once again garner the attention they're desperately seeking. Now, I have to say, I am going to miss James Gunn doing this. It's been absolutely epic. It's been pretty apparent to many people that most of these people just make up stuff day after day after day. And to have Gunn here to constantly slap them down and make them and embarrass them in front of their legions of moronic followers, I have to say it has been spectacular. Now, he did say he would still debunk especially egregious stuff, and I do expect him to once again get out there and set fans straight on what expectations are. But I don't think he's going to keep doing it at the volume he's doing it, not because he doesn't enjoy it, because clearly he does, but I do think a methodical approach getting him to debunk stuff or not debunk stuff could inadvertently pull the curtain back and give people a peek of what's going on behind the scenes. I don't think he wants to lie to fans and debunk true rumors, so turning down the volume on all of this is probably the best bet. When we see James Gunn crush one of these grifters again, well, we'll have to wait and see.